Hey everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Hope you are doing well. Today I want to bring you a couple of game unboxings. I know they've been out a little while, but I just want to show you what I picked up over the weekend. So the Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deals. There was quite a lot for games and digital games. So the two physical games I got was Watch Dogs 2 for the PS4, and then Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the Xbox One. So prices were really low. So I got this for about 30% of the price, and then this one for nearly half the price. So I didn't get the other one where it had Modern Warfare and where it was changed and remastered. I just want this one to play through and I'll have a little go on the multiplayer and the zombie mode as well, but more about that later on. Also, there was two digital copies that I've got a game. So I've got Hitman Series 1. So that's the complete episodes from Series 1 of the new Hitman game. So also on the PS4, you will get the extra six assassination packs as well. Batman Returns to Arkham. So that's Arkham City and Arkham Asylum in one. And I picked that up for like £19. It was really cheap and it's like £36 again now. So on with the unboxings of these two physical ones. Can't do the unboxings of the actual DLCs, but they are on the PS Store and Xbox One Store as well. But like I said, they've all gone back up in price, but I did hope you managed to get some during the ideal weekend here. So first one that I want to take a look at is Watch Dogs 2. I was a big fan of Watch Dogs 1, and apparently this has changed quite a bit, but I am looking forward to jumping in. It doesn't look so dark, it looks nice, open and bright. So it is set in San Francisco, which is a beautiful city. I am hoping to go there, I do have family up that way so it'd be nice to go and visit them and experience San Francisco but first of all it's Piggy 18 it's made by Ubisoft and on PlayStation you get to play DLCs 30 days early on the front here so if I just flip this round to the back we're going to get a bit of information here so like I said here it says enter the hackers world it's based in San Francisco as I said before hack everything and fight the establishment so that's a good thing that's going on at the moment as we have the president-elect and Donald Trump. So the establishment really will need fighting someday soon, I believe. So you can share open game and it's a massive open world. So you can either do this co-op or PVP. So a bit about the game. In 2016, CTOS 2.0 is a software that's been installed around the city, but it actually monitors what people are doing and you're gonna hack this and change this all thanks to your character so you fight the establishment playing as a hacker called marcus holloway a brilliant young hacker who has been brought up and lives in the birth of technology area san francisco bay i've got my knife here so what i'm gonna do is just yeah so i just got a peel tab here peel this around so if you've already played this game please let me know what you think down below is it worth a play is it worth a full playthrough i like doing the extra bits i have seen some people been playing it on youtube game riot as well go and check that out great uk game i do love his gaming videos so go and check that out for me link in the description for his videos on this Watch Dogs 2 so inside here we're going to see our which i do like to take a look at because sometimes they do put some nice art on the actual disc or it's just the front cover as you can see here and then also we have some leaflets and information to our left hand side. Okay, so we have about the season pass here that you can purchase for Honor, and then Watch Dogs 2, and then just a bit of information, a bit of a backstory there to read through if you want to. So like I said, let me know if you've played this before, what you think of it, can't wait to try it, but let's move on to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So this is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the Xbox One. This is available on the PS4 as well, but I chose to get this on the Xbox One just as a difference. I don't like to buy all my games for the PS4. Plus I have a bit more friends that play online on the Xbox One so we can do more multiplayer. So first of all, it's Peggy 18 made by Activision and this carries on in the Call of Duty series. So if I just flip this around here, there's some information on the back. Again, I will zoom in for you. So on here, you can see we have a campaign mode, a multiplayer mode, and a zombie mode, which most people are growing to love. I did try this on the last game, and I was getting quite involved in it. It's quite difficult to understand if you haven't played it before. I know loads of you out there will be screaming at me saying, why don't you know how to play this? Why haven't you played it? But like I said, being registered blind, it is quite hard to play some of these games, but I do like to give it a go. So on the back here as well, it's got the best-selling first-person shooter on the Xbox One. Oops. 
So as you can see, it's a bit other way around with the Xbox One. Your game is on the left-hand side and the leaflets are on the right-hand side. So also, again, like I said, we have our leaflet inside here is a code that you'll need to download extra content, which I'm not gonna show you. And then on the front, it talks about the DLC. So four great DLCs for one great price. So go and check that out in the Xbox One store. So again, let me know what you think of the game. Are you enjoying it? What's the best mode, that career mode, the multiplayer mode, or the zombie mode? I'm looking forward to having a play of that. Need to free up some storage. But like I said, I also got the Hitman and the Batman, so loads of great deals. Let me know what other great deals you maybe come across. So that was the unboxing of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the Xbox One and Watch Dogs 2 for the PS4. I'm gonna go ahead now and start my gaming. But thanks always for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give a thumbs up. Thanks always for watching. Remember to subscribe as always for our latest news, reviews and unboxings. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.